Hi, Gemini darlings. It's Gwen, and happy birthday reading for you. Yes, I love my Gemini babies out there. This is my sun sign. Happy birthday month to you. Celebrate you every day. Um, this is going to be June energies. So June into July, I would say. Let's see what's coming for Gemini. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want your own private reading, I do those too. All my information's in the box below. I love you guys. Okay, thanks for all the support you give to the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Um, hit that the thumbs up, smash the heart, drop a comment below, uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel. These are all the ways that you can help the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the good karma donations. They help me so much. This is what I do for a living. Yes. This is my creative talent. You'll start seeing more of my artsy stuff um, on this channel as well. But let's just get into this, Gemini. I don't want to keep rattling on. Let's get into this. I got a new mug, Gemini. Yeah. And right before the, I hit record, I was like, oh, shoot, I got to take off the label. It was a gift from a sister. It's pink, right? And she knew, like, it was very special. It was like, she knew that I really, I like to have my coffee in, um, one of these types of mugs and I didn't have one and so she treated me one. She remembered. I always forget when I go into Walmart. She remembered. And it had a label on it. So I peeled that label off and that was important. Um, removing labels, removing facades, removing the masks, remove the label. That's what I heard. Remove the labels before um, I hit record. So that may pertain to this reading today. So Oracle cards today are from the Gateway to the Liminal Spirits, Gemini. And I've got Mugwort and the Oak Tree here. Okay. And the Oak Tree is reversed. So you could, right at this time, be feeling, because this card's right on the table here. Um, not strong. Weak. For some reason. Okay. Maybe suffered some sort of loss. Feeling... I don't know, um, like your energy is depleted because oak is about strength, resiliency, perseverance. Um, so something has happened where you need to be mindful of protecting your energy, Gemini, because mugwort um, is about, we use mugwort as an herb to cleanse, like as in sage, but it is used to actually, in open uh, and enhance the third eye or medit uh, dream state. It's also used for protection. Um, like when I'm doing intuitive, creative work, I'll use a little bit of mugwort to enhance the visions that I get. This also makes me think that somebody's got their eyes on you. Be mindful, like protect your energy at this time. You could be feeling weak. Well, maybe somebody has, I don't know, here. <clears throat> well, let's see what comes out in the book with Mugwort and what else comes out in your reading. You need to protect your own energy at this time. Um, yeah, it's an herb used uh, in, has many uses, including protection, consecration, of uncovering memory, enhancing dreams, and guidance. Mugwort is associated with the goddess Diana and women's mysteries. It has a reputation for being a wayfinder and a gateway to extrasensory extra perception, which is why it's used in charms to protect travelers of all kinds. Also, mugwort helps the dying and deceased find their way as they cross over to the next state of being. Uh, consort with mugwort to open the door to experiencing visionary dreams, but, be, but take care to be respectful or you may get more than you bargained for. Um, and also the, with the dreams, because it enhances the dream states, like don't give up on um, the Eye of the Tiger song coming in, my father's spirit coming in to this reading for you, Gemini. Thanks, Dad, for being here. <laughs> Um, I have the tiger, like, don't give up on your dreams of the past, your passions, okay? Being very seen at this time as well. I just keep with those eyes. I see you may even have a secret admirer. Um, 
do not turn your nose up at the ordinary and commonplace. Just because something is readily available doesn't mean it's less valuable or effective than more difficult to acquire or expensive things. Everyday witchcraft is sourced from what is at our fingertips, using what you got at this time, okay? You may feel like you have lost your way or are stuck in a rut. That's why the oak is reversed as well, okay? Look to Mugwort for guidance to illuminate the path before you and show you new opportunities. I mean, even the heart and soul cards here, I asked my Oracle uh, deck, what does Gemini's heart need to hear today? And the woman being depicted here, the feminine here, I shut, right? A lot of emotions, fire and water I see here. Um, and also the stars, the connection of the dots. Um, stars speak to healing, being seen, a success, okay? But also like in, um, dreaming it into existence, in dream state, dream state over here with mugwort, okay? Getting answers in the dream state. Rainbow energy, maybe you need to just see rainbow. Is that your sign today? It does look like there is a bright new beginning in the future after much darkness, after much like confusion maybe, lot feeling lost or uncertain, lost in the forest, the labyrinth, I don't know. Uh, but this uh, rainbow always speaks to hope and blessings. Don't give up hope. Don't give up on your dreams of the past, Gemini. Um, and I do have a postcard from your past over loved ones to talk to you about, too. And the, the colors of the cards are so similar. The pink and the yellow, self-love, and feel confident in your own skin. New beginnings, yellow energy, okay? You may not be aware of it yet, but a tapestry full of positive outcomes and spiritual blessings now permeates your aura. The gray clouds have lifted, replaced by soft, radiant light. The past will soon be behind you. Let it go and embrace the positive times ahead. Yeah, Gemini, I did a powerful reading today. If you haven't watched the 610 collective reading where I was talking about leopard energy and how a leopard can change its spots. And it was tied in with some Mayan wisdom today of, um, as we embrace these storms in our life, as we go through storms, not embrace, well, some of us have to embrace them. We get through these storms in our life. Um, there is a cleansing, there is a transformation that happens. And what's happening within the collective right now, Gemini, is that all we are being stripped, cleaned, cleansed of any negative energies, of anything from the past, past karmic shit. Like, yeah, let go of the past, okay? And embrace the positive times that are coming. Beyond the light of this world, there is an inner light that always shines bright. Close your eyes. Again, they tell you, close your eyes, Gemini. And be guided by your inner light. Feel it flow through your entire body, your thoughts and emotions. Feel it relax and heal every part of you. Listen to the immortal dialogue between your soul and spirit. This is the never-ending story of you. The never-ending story. La, 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 la. Dream it into existence, okay? You are creating it. Take the leap. Is it in love? I don't know. My love notes from the universe. We're going to get some here at the end, but this is... This is what's face up at me. Are you thinking about taking a leap of faith, Gemini? Taking some risks and being bold when it comes to love? Are you feeling a connection that's telepathic? It's purple. Or maybe this is just a self-love chapter. I don't know. Somebody could be dumbfounded in love. There's love at first sight here underneath that. Somebody could be having a wake-up call. Boom. Mm. Gemini, you know when that, when that happens? When you've been pouring in love into your own cup. Maybe it's been a time where you have been focused on healing and nurturing yourself and releasing the past and healing a heart. And you're ready to take a leap into love. Okay, let's see what the past over uh, loved ones have to say. We'll get tarot today as well for you Gemini babies. Let me leave that mugwort out. What are, the, what are your angels, want? what do your past over loved ones want to say? They say to celebrate life, and there's an angel being depicted here on the back of this postcard. Celebrate you. Celebrate life, okay? Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. We're talking about risk in the first sentence. <laughs> okay. 
Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Gemini, do you need to hear it again? This absolutely resonates with my heart because I've had this conversation with my ancestors. I have full and complete faith that you are helping me and guiding me and I won't rush the process. I am open to receiving love. Okay? They know it. They know they're going to divinely protect me. They aren't going to let any kind of relationship into my life anymore. They're here for me, okay? They're not going to let me fall, drown, get lost, or hurt myself in any way on this one. When you are weak, they are strong for you. Do you hear me, Gemini? I am going to watch yourself back because I feel my higher self's talking to me. <laughs> I love you, higher self. Okay, let me get back to this. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you, and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition into something new. All the elements are in place, and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, Gemini, you will land softly right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. I've been feeling like you're being courageous lately, Gemini. I don't know. I have been. I have been. Watch the Shoot the Shot video that I got on my channel as well. <laughs> Women out here in Massachusetts, man, they, they shoot the shot. They shoot the shot. They speak from the chest. Yes. <laughs> Let's dig into love a little bit. Okay. Gemini, what do we got here, babies? What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. They wanted me to separate this. So there was coming in the future. You're going to know it. Okay. When these cards come out, it's important where they land in my vicinity because that tells me past, present, future energy. Okay. So in the past, you could be, you could have connected with somebody where they, the heart connection, it was an electric, magnetic fireworks going off. And you felt it in your heart center. It's electric. Okay? Green it speaks to the heart. This flew in the past energy. It's a past love that's electric. And one step at a time. So somebody moving slowly, steadily, one step at a time, one moment at a time, one day at a time. Slow and steady wins the race is this at feeling comfortable yellow energy about embracing new beginnings and comfortable in the own skin, confidence, energy, happy energy, one day at a time. One day at a time. Oh goodness gracious is my family coming through over here on this one. I love you guys. I will watch it back and probably ball my eyes off because that, I think, is like Crystal Gale. Crystal Gale, like, well, the lady that the country singer way back when had hair down to her fucking feet. Crystal Gale. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Yes, it reminds me of the other night, you know? Like, I, I connect with the Ascended Masters. And two of the Ascended Masters that I connect with when I'm feeling like I need extra love, I need guidance, please surround me in your protection and love and forgive. I, like I was asking for forgiveness as well. So I was calling in Yeshua and Mary and you know, so the fact that that song's coming in too, um, yeah, it's definitely, uh, my grandmother's energy, even my grandmother's best friend. I don't know what that's about. So maybe you have a very dear best friend. Um, Coming into this, we'll see what the tarot cards have to say. I don't know. This is your sign in the future, 11-11. So are you seeing that, Gemini? 
it's about your passions. It's about your creativity. It's the orange energy. You're going to start seeing the signs. This is your sign, 1111. <clears throat> it's a beautiful number about new beginnings and manifesting and co-creating with spirit. And that you are on the divine path. This is your sign. Pay attention to the your creative pursuits, your passions, okay? Orange energy, joy, celebration, power. Orange card, okay? This is your sign. <laughs> the electric sign. I don't know. The electric avenue, one step at a time. It's baby steps, childlike energy, magician energy here, Gemini. You're coming through. Even in this love situation, you're manifesting a new beginning. You will know it. This is your sign. Boom. You'll see these 1111s with this love, with this chemistry here. This is orange. It's chemistry too, okay? You are the cool breeze. So this person, this is what's in the present moment. This, there's a person in your life that is like a breath of fresh air. Cool breeze, okay? Is a calm in your storm, it feels, okay? Embracing the winds of change within a connection. I'm afraid to talk to you. Somebody is not talking, Gemini. They have fear. Even though they think you are the cool breeze. Lessons within love. It's about love is what you do. And you know, truly it is. We, we can speak it and speak it and speak it and say we love some, somebody and say we're going to do these things and do things and make promises and you know, but in the end, it is about what you do. I'm talking about being the, I always call it proof in the pudding. Give me proof in the pudding. Show up. Shoot your shot. Show up for me. My time valuable. Your time's valuable. Yeah, love is what you do. Thoughtfulness, gestures, kindness, holding space for somebody. Love is what you do. Is this love? To hold back words. I mean, these are the same color. Color... Coordination always is significant with the love notes here. Is it loving to have fear? Love it, fear, love and fear are opposite. Okay, so maybe you're talking, you're you're attracting a yin yang energy in here as well. Okay, but somebody is afraid to talk, and so and somebody here is like, well, love is what you do, and if you're not going to talk to me, then maybe you don't love me. Is the kind of energy that I'm feeling with that. Okay. Somebody still wants to take. Is thinking about a leap of faith. That's the underlying energy. A leap of faith. And the self. And maybe it's the leap of faith into self-discovery. And into, into. Shoot. May, Gemini. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're so new. You just don't even know who you are. And what you want in love right now. So you got to go into this self-love chapter. And your guys are like. This is coming. Love at first sight. So just release all of this. Regret, remorse, rue. The four R's. Okay? They know somebody's having lots of sleepless nights. Yeah. Somebody sees you, Gemini. I see you. I love you. Our avatar energy. Okay? Sometimes I have trouble coming up with the words to express my love. Somebody has a block throat chakra. Somebody has some healing to do with their emotions here. They're unable to express... And they're feeling unlucky in love, even though they want to grant your every wish. Princess Bride here. Somebody's like a Jacqueline Hyde. <laughs> Is that you, Gemini? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. That's, that it is for me. So I'm willing to admit that. I'm a healed Gemini, though. I'm a healed Gemini. Page of Wands energy. That's a passionate message. Passionate offer coming towards you. Hot and heavy. <laughs> Childlike enthusiasm with that. Page of Wands. An exciting new opportunity. Page of Wands. A message coming. What's going on for my Gemini babies? Show me. Ten of Cups. It just flies out right away. That is what's on the table. That is what's on your mind. It's about my happiness. And yes, I am worthy and deserving of the ultimate happiness in my life. Ten of Cups. Rainbow your sign again. It's out there again. The rainbow. That damn card. from flying out for Geminis. Ten of Cups. Yes, you're going to be so happy, Gemini. Wish fulfillment here. And then some. This has been... Hierophant energy, a spiritual journey.
okay? This is about traditions. This is about um, sacred marriages, connecting with your spiritual roots again, figuring out the equations here. Maybe you're figuring out how to manifest, work with energy here, connecting with an elder or a wise one, all of those kinds of things here with the Hierophant. And you're moving forward quickly. Here you are, Gemini, Knight of Swords. There are no obstacles. The little momentum, uh, yeah, this knight gets over any obstacle. See that with the horse there? Like, yeah, I'm one with the horse energy. It's talking about freedom of expression here as well and movement. <sighs> what else for Gemini? Gemini. Gemini. You've been dealing with devil energy, Gemini. Here it is. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Devil energy. <sighs> Makes sense to me. It keeps popping out for my own personal reads. Yeah. We feel like we've been stuck in a, re a re repetitive uh, loop pattern. Um, are we looking at some of our own toxic traits? Do we have some sort of addiction? Um, this could also be about materialism, ego. Okay, it's in the upright. It's what you're dealing with in the present moment. Victim mindset, codependency, all these things come with the devil energy. But the tower comes after that devil energy, Gemini, so that's the change. Okay, right before a big change, you do get tested. Okay, and that's why you might not be feeling so strong right now with that oak tree reversed at the very beginning here. You Be mindful, Gemini, you are attracting in from your heart, not from your mind. There could be a battle between the heart and the mind here, okay? Two cups is a relationship that feels good. That's, you've been pouring into your own cup. This is a kindred connection, a soulmate connection to a cup's energy, okay? With the four of wands energy on the underlying, this is a gathering, a celebration, a looking at yourself in the mirror, balance of fe de uh, divine feminine and masculine energy here, a sacred celebration. I've already said a divine sacred union here with this, the sacred marriage with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the five, is a change. Okay. I have Empress energy here being content in the moment, right? This is all the Queens. Yes. The Empress is all the Queens. Trusting in divine timing, master manifester, master communicator, master of the emotions here. You've taken this self journey. You have. That's why the self care chapter came out. Yes, you have. You are worthy. You are divine. This has been a spiritual journey. This is a beautiful part of your awakening. Gemini. Mm -hmm. You've had to learn how to balance yourself here. You could have been juggling, right? Eyes closed again. Eyes closed again. Needing to center, balance, meditate. And yes. Okay, so what else? What's the future advice for Gemini here for June? And do I need to clarify any of these? Let me look over at these cards here. <sighs> know your worth, Gemini. Know your worth. Don't settle. You are the Empress. Empress, Emperor, Energy, the Feminine came out with the Empress, but the King of Pentacles is here, okay? Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo coming into your life, but the King of Pentacles is the leader of the home, okay? And he know, he holds the Pentacle here at his chest because he knows that the Pentacle Abundance Mindset um, is an inner job. What we feel within is depicted in our outer world like that, yeah. The pentacle is spiritual in nature. This is a very warm, generous, kind, compassionate uh, leader. Leader of the home and building his empire. Not in the emotions, really, yeah. Surrounds himself with richness in life and knows that his, his, his energy is valuable, his time is valuable. He's centered, grounded, stabled, divine, masculine energy here. Six of Wands. Yes, I celebrate you. I see you. This is the second time I've... This could also be an investor. Being seen, Gemini. Okay? A benefactor in your life. A king of pentacles. Okay? Look what's in that bubble in the center there. The devil's head. Your, your angels are here celebrating you. 
you've passed some sort of set, test, whatever was in the dark is going to be exposed. Seven of Swords reversed. Yep. Yep. Somebody either gets caught in the act or something gets exposed here. And you're, or you're no longer going to lie to yourself about your value in particular situations as well. You're going to learn to trust in divine timing and be patient here. Mastering flow. Okay. Mastering, master alchemist here. Okay. And a new beginning is abound. Okay. That's reading the underlying energy there, Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. That new beginning, a new job offer, a trusted new beginning, a lump sum of money you didn't expect, an investor, a, 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 a lawsuit in your favor, a divine blessing, a gift. Manifest. It's a manifestation because it's a pentacle. You, Yes, it's a gift. Here you go, Gemini. <laughs> Here you go, Gemini. <laughs> All right, my loves, if this was your reading today, drop me some love down below. I am going to, I think I'm going to tune back into love and give you a bonus reading as well. I want to dig deeper into love. I'm curious for myself, too. I want to dig into love. So I'm going to get out the uh, Tarot of Sex Magic. We'll have the love notes here and whatever else I see fit wants to pop out. Okay. I love you so much, Gemini. Take good care of you. Happy birthday season to you, darlings. Mwah.